we are with another morning. Let's see, I got to bed a little after 11 last night. Um, I don't remember having trouble sleeping, so maybe I fell asleep pretty quick. And then I got up at 1. No, shoot, I can't remember. These two got me up twice. Once they wanted out. The other time they were just being more rambunctious. And they came in pretty quick. Finally got me up at 7.30. I, uh, I had a weird dream last night. Here we go. Here's another one. So it started... Uh, when I was a kid, I had a friend named Andrew Milks. And this is like second, third grade. And... I was at his house, but it was like a virtual rendering of his house. And I don't remember his house real. It was a big house. Big old brick house. But in this case... Come on, help. Come on. Hey, uh-uh. Come on. Come on. In this case, it was like a virtual rendering of his house. But... It, uh... So it was like 3D, but it wasn't very well detailed, so it was all just gray. And showing the rooms downstairs. Rooms with like two fireplaces across the across from each other. A lot of fireplaces in the in my broken memories of these this house. Then it went upstairs to his room and his bedroom had a giant closet. And I know that wasn't true either, because I did spend a night at his house a few times. And showed some of the other rooms, but then it started becoming like real. Uh, there was a bed in one room with a giant like clown face up the, uh, making up the headboard. Holy crap. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, come on, come on, come on. Come on, help, come on. Um, dogs. Come on, dogs. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, Bella. Bella, Bella. Come on. Bella, come on. So, uh, then it turned into me being at a convention. It was a small convention, and I had joined a 5th edition D&D game. And these characters were massively powerful, but they were in the house. So, uh, there was some kind of ghost had taken over somebody, and I'm using spells because I was some kind of wizard or warlock or something. Uh, but then I decided I was also a wizard trucker. I needed to go get my truck. So I, I told the GM that, and the GM just kind of ignores all the other players and focuses on me for the rest of the game session, trying to get this truck back. It turns out the character I was playing, who was a pre-gen, was evil. So he was willing to do terrible things, and that's what eventually got me my magical wizard truck, tractor trailer, whatever, I don't know. And most of the time I was just struggling to try to figure out the rules and my spells and the things that I could do with this very powerful character. And uh, then I left to the, uh, the convention, I guess. That's all I really remember. It was weird. <laughs> Look at these two. Look at these two good girls. Look at these two good girls. How sweet they are. Windy and chilly this afternoon. 50 degrees. Uh, let's see, minus 32. It's, uh, it's actually what? For 18? Yeah, 18 I think. Love and ice, 2 times 5 is 10 degrees centigrade. It was an easy one. I did some searching. I did some messing around maps today. A little Minecraft. All this morning. No, this, that was this afternoon. Because Scotty was on after lunch. So, the rest of the day has just been rendering videos. I recorded a couple videos, and then Mom and Dad went to Spinetto's. We're going to have to stop doing that kind of stuff. Be my hippie. we got to continue this self quarantine, social isolation stuff. Protect ourselves and protect other people. Um, that's about it. There's kind of a weird smell in the air too today. But it hasn't rained, so that's good. But it's been kind of dreary all day. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Come on. Come on. There's a girl. There's my girls. <laughs> Hi, pretty eyes. Hi, pretty eyes. 
Jesús te va a 